everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to Fez. It's been about a year, probably a little bit more, but Fez was finally released on the PC recently, actually yesterday, May the 1st, and, uh, and I thought, hey, why don't I pick the series back up? I've been playing through it for the last, like, three hours now, so um, if I get a little bit angry at some points, it's because the rage is slowly building up. Um, <laughs> I've been playing it for a while now, and I thought I may as well just finish this off on YouTube. We did, like, seven episodes. This is the eighth one. And uh, I'm making my way through the Game Boy area. So basically, I got myself to here and I was like, right, okay, this is where we'll start the YouTube videos again. So I'm here and I'm basically making my way through. And I think I've been playing it better than last time because if I show you all of my goodies so far, I've actually been doing pretty well. So every area that I've been to, I've been making sure that I've got like gold blocks on, on all of them. You see how like much more completed this is. And for the warp gate that's in the big village that we went to, I'm going to need 32 blocks. So I've got 22 shards so far and I've also got five anti cubes as well so that's a total of 27 which is all good and then I also have a few map pieces as well I did that puzzle with these three Abs absolute nightmare absolutely hated it and then I've also got one artifact as well which came from doing that puzzle this one here you go through all the treasure and then you find the artifact and I don't know what you get if you find all four but that's a weird like spider sculptula type head thing it's very strange so I'm just gonna check if I've got the things in this room there's a treasure chest in this room to be had so if I just hop up here and spin this bad boy around so basically if you've never seen this game before this is a really interesting game the concept for it is brilliant the implementation is great this is a game called fez and basically the idea behind it is you're this character in a 2d world and then one day you get given a fez which basically allows you to see your 2d world in 3d perspectives and you'll see just how confusing and how clever this game can be uh, the more and more that i play it and i can't see myself getting over to there for now maybe i need to drop this platform down here we go right if i do that and if I drop down to here, a little bit more, there we go. Now, is it worth me pushing that down or upwards? Oh, okay, hold on a second. Right, there we are. Don't know what we gained from doing that. I guess we can maybe walk across to the, to those little vines that are there. So if I put that there, got you to there. There we are. Oh, wait, just the platform just went straight through it. What's that all about? Now I'm really confused. Okay. Hmm. This is very confusing. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, wait, wait. We got the platform there. All right. So we got the platform onto this part just here. Now, the question is, how do I ride this wave all the way up to the top? Hmm. Unless I move it over so... So if I push this platform out to there... So then when I turn the screen, I can jump onto it, maybe? Yeah, if I do... If I raise the water level in a second, hold on. Turn that to there. Right, now if I do that. Right, now if I raise the water level, I should be able to jump all the way across from here. Onto it. See how much further it goes up. Go on, keep going. A little bit more. Go on. Yes, nailed it. Right, cool. Onto there. Climb up those. And find out whatever's in this chest. I'm hoping it's going to be a key. Because there is one door in the previous room that has a lock on it. So if we can make our way through that. Oh! Ah! Beautiful! <laughs> Got ourselves another cube shard. So that takes us up to what? A total of 23. Which all in all, when we add the, uh, the anti-cubes, puts us up to a total of 29. Good times. Although it says 5 on there. Is it only 5? Oh, sorry, yeah, so there we go, it's a total of 28 even. So we only actually need four more in order to open the door back in the village. So if I just drop down onto here. Cool, I think I'm done with this room. So let's have a look at the map then. So we're in this room, there's two smaller ones that branch off from it that we haven't opened yet, although that one is via a locked door. So I don't have a key for that yet, do I? No. So there's got to be one more door around here that I can go through. So that puts us through to there, and there's actually a cube piece that we haven't collected yet. Oh dear, into the acid. Oh, another minute. Not the best idea I've had. There we go. Now if I do this and then flip the perspectives around. Oh no, oh, so close. Oh, Gomez, I'm so sorry. Let's have one more go at this. Actually, if I just go across these, that should be fine. Oh god, I get a big old spring off these. There we are. Now if I flip this around. Oh, is that the door I just came in from? 
Now I'm really confused. No, there it is. Gotcha. Cool. And that will give us one more... Oh, I thought there was going to be one more full cube. Apparently not. Right, across to there. And then we'll go through this door. And see what's on the other side. Right. So this is a room further on down. There's nothing down there but a secret. And I've already gotten the secret, so I'm going to go back. Because I don't need anything down there. I'll need the secrets at some point, I'm assuming, to maybe gain a couple more anti-cubes. Uh, right, now if I can go back to where I came from... Unless these pipes are climbable. Some of the pipes in this area are climbable and some of them aren't. So it's just a matter of double checking which ones you can actually have a little clamber across. So these are the portals back to the other area. So we've got Atlantis, we've got the lighthouse. And we've also got the green place as well. I don't think I've been to the green place just yet. Oh, there you go, up to there. Is that a door? That is a locked door. So that's a key that I need. Right. Okay, well I'll tell you what, if I go back to the area that I was previously in. we go to here. Right, through there. And away! So I'm in this part. There is another door around here somewhere that I've got to go track down. So let me have a little hop across this. Oh, tiny babby one. There we go. Let's have a look. Any doors? Just going to keep an eye out on all of these. So there's one door with a, locked, uh, with a lock on it. And there's another door which apparently doesn't have a lock on it. Ah, which is there. Okay, cool. So I've tracked you down. Now I've just got to get on to you. Not sure how I'm going to do that. It might be worth me just getting onto the platform above. And then just dropping on. There we go. Yes. Nailed it. Right. Cool. Down we go. New areas. Don't need to go right the way to the top of the windmill. Right. So what's through here then? This is new to me, this part. I've only just learned as well. This is like a year and a half on. That if I actually walk over a door as if like mousing over it. It will actually come up with a bubble if I've already been there. Like a preview. And if I haven't been there, then it'll just stay blank. So... That's something worth noting. Right, cool. Oh! <laughs> I don't think you actually jumped on any ground there. I think you gave me that one. You're being too nice to me, Gomez. And uh, no, I can't get across to there. Oh, I see there's some ladders there. So it looks like I'm going to have to get them all facing the same way. So then when I go around, I can actually climb up them. Oh, no, I see. So if I turn you one more. Oh, no. Keep going. That's it. To there. There you go. And if I go to this one and turn it by one to the left as well. There we are. Cool. Now I should be able to climb up to there. Grab that little cube piece. Hey! Happy Gomez! Ha! Ah, good lad. Right, I tell you what. I've just realised I need to switch this one 180. I think it was 180. Yes, it was 180. Okay, cool. So if I hop up there, onto there, flip him around, up to there. And then, I don't even know how I got that one. I just got it by turning. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> there we go, that one there. God, we're getting close to our goal now. Across to there and over. And then there is another door for us to check out. And through we go. Good times. Right, what's through here then? Oh, God, turning platforms. Uh, oh, oh, no, that one didn't turn in time. <laughs> Come on. Give me a break. Right. Oh, I see. So that one becomes like a singular block. Ah. So if I get onto you and then turn that way. Oh, oh, hello, hello, cheeky. Right, okay, I've sussed it. I'm just going to have to wait for the turns. There we go. That's it. And up. Oh, God, oh, God. Yes, nailed it somehow. Go, Gomez, yes. Well played, Gomez. Sheer luck, sheer luck, my friend. Now there is a cute piece shouting here, but I don't know where it is. Oh, there we go. The grand reveal. Okay, there you go. Hold on a second. Let me grab you. There we go. Let's carry on spinning it. There's probably some more to show off. Oh, is that it? Just that. Nothing else there? Any doors? No, okay. Oh, I see. Got you. Sneaky get around the back. Yeah, I'm worried that I'm going to open these chests and rather than getting keys, I'm going to get treasure maps, which in turn are quite helpful because they'll lead to artifacts, but I'm really not after artifacts right now. I couldn't care less about them. All right, cool. Up to there. Beautiful. Right, so I need to turn this around so I can climb up it. Oh, no, I see. Ah, okay. I think that should do the trick. Although I can't help but feel like there should be something inside that little square below me. Let me just keep turning this one around and see what we get. Okay, there's one little hole there. There must be something 
No, nothing on any of those faces. Hmm. So what's that hiding there? Maybe if I turn that so it's visible, and then if I turn the one above, that'll reveal something. I get the feeling that's what's going to happen. Yeah, let's have a look. So if I turn you... Oh my god, that turns the whole thing. Oh, I see. So there's going to be something hidden here that I need to line up. Right. Turn you one more. Nothing there. Right, okay. So if I do that... And then if I drop down and spin it like so... Until I get the blank one there. So if I get two empty gaps, it might lead to something like a door. Hey, hey, hello. Oh, bloody hell. Up we get. Right, but quickly before I run off, I need to try and climb up here. Which I don't think is possible, actually. No, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Come back. Other way, other way. Bloody hell. Right, I might have to come back for that hypercube. I don't see a way up there just yet. Maybe once I go through this room below... It'll bring me out in the door up there. Fingers crossed. We'll go through there. At least we know where another full cube is before we leave. Oh my god, right. Hold on, this has changed again. Oh god. It's crazy when it changes different modes. Oh my god, this is like the old Sonic level. The one where there's lots of propellers. Oh! Or lots of springs, should I say. There we go. Keep on going. And then this one is going to be up to the ladder. Gotta make sure I press up. Gotcha. Nailed it. Cool. Now, if I turn around, come out this door, I think that should bring us out to the full cube that was above us. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful stuff. Ta-da! Ah! <laughs> He's so happy all the time. Oh, and there's a portal back as well. Handy, handy. Cool, so everything is done in this area. Still need a key for that door. Oh, there's a chest in that room, actually. So if I can get back to that portal there, which I'm assuming this might take me to, then I might be able to snag a chest. Oh, no, this is changing area, so this might be where we need to go. Yes, right. So there is a chest in here somewhere. I think before I actually just jumped right the way up, so... Oh, pff, sorry, Gomez. My bad. My bad, bro. Right, cool. So if I just constantly drop down here... No. Where the bloody hell's the chest, then? Is it, like, hidden somewhere? That makes no sense. There is, quite honestly, no sign of a chest anywhere. Unless there's some secret... Oh, wait, hold on a minute. Ah, that's where you are. So, wait, hold on. Is there a treasure map? That might tell me how to get up there. Okay, so that's the map for getting up to the chest that's way above us, but... Doesn't really do much to tell us what we've got to do. Oh, hello! Where were you hiding? Okay, two seconds. Um, <laughs> okay, amazing. So... There are platforms, so when the when the bottom door, right, so there are platforms there, that's pretty cool. So there are platforms to one way or the other. Oh, there it is, found one, got one, amazing, alright, okay, oh, snap, okay, there we go. So it's just a matter of going left and right for a while. There we go. Oh, this is cool. This is awesome. Treasure time! This is clearly going to only lead to an artifact, though, isn't it? Rather than a um, rather than a key, which is what I could really do with right now. Please give me a key. Oh, actually, that's a lot better. That's really cool, actually. So now we're up to 31. We literally only need one more full cube, and then we can actually go through the cool double door thing. Let's go all the way back down. Oh, no. So, it's this map here. Where is it? Open the map up. Right, so I've got the archway there. The big tree and the small tree. So I have to jump off of the big tree onto this platform. It was about there, wasn't it? It must be. Is it a bit closer? Okay, it might be a bit further away. It's definitely in line with the big tree, though. Because we've got the small and the big one. Oh, there it is. Got it. Oh, balls. Okay, <laughs> I jumped a little bit too early. I need to... Oh, come on. So I'm assuming I've got to get this, flip it around. You what? What do you mean? I'm still on the platform. That's really strange. Why is it doing that? Uh, uh, oh, 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 God, no. Oh, God. Panicking. 
Go miss, no! <laughs> oh no. Uh, so the platform seems to disappear when I face a certain direction. So it completely disappears when I go that way. Completely disappears that way as well. Mm. Is it double invisible platforms? No. There's only one on the treasure map. Let's have a look. So that one's there. Ah, okay. So I basically have to do a full 180. Which is on the other side. So that's the archway visible. There we go. Right, now... Oh, I had it! I had it! I touched the platform, yes! There we go, awesome! Nailed it! Get around to the front and open this bad boy up. Oh, yes! The final cube we needed! Ah! 32 cubes, we did it! Now you can open the door back in the town. Epic! No, we're behind again! No, Gomez! Oh, God, thank God. You should be behind the washing up. <laughs> there we go! Oh god, I'm kind of scared actually. I don't know what's going to lie through the other side. Whoa! The bloody hell is this? Don't tell me we've completed it. Don't tell me I was one episode off of completing this game all those months ago. Amazing! A working Stargate! What the hell is a working Stargate? You say that like I know what it is. Oh my god. Oh god, no. Uh, Gomez, get down. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Oh god, no, what's happening? Oh, it won't stop me spinning so fast, it's going out of control, it's all going wild! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Is that Mars? <laughs> Is that Pluto? What's through there? Oh my god. I'm going to assume this is Hypercube Land, boys. We're in. We're in. This is terrifying. This is absolutely terrifying. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not equipped for this. Not in the slightest. God. That is a huge thing I've got to climb right now. Is there a octopus platforms as well? Quite like the look of them. They're pretty cool. Derpy squid platforms. Whoa. Wow. It's one way to make an entrance. It's a whole nother world, Ollie Boy. Nino Cooney. Oh. Why is he so casual about everything? Oh my god, anti gravity. Yes. Look at this slow mo. I say climb up, Gomez. Here we go. Oh god. I think we might be at the end of the game. The music sounds quite like atmospheric and like finale ish. I feel like I'm completing Journey all over again. There we go. Can I just jump straight across that? Yes, I can. There we go. Up to there. Look, Gomez looks so chilled with himself. Look at him. Look at his smug little face. He's like, yeah, I'm the ladies, man. I'm the coolest. Look, look when he walks along. He's just like, mm-hmm. God. I'm glad he could breathe out here. Can you imagine if he needed a spacesuit? His head would just get bigger than it already is. I mean, it's already the size of a Tic Tac. It's a bit strange. But the thing would explode. Which way am I going? This way? This way feels right. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, please land on the platform. There we go. I'm just going to follow the carpets. There we go. Up beyond the derpy squids. And now we make our climb up the gigantic owl platform. What goes there? Little Alpen. Okay. Hello. I'm just going to stand on your head for a second, mate. Cheers. Right, this is going to be an epic Mario punch up. Boom! Can I not get, get on that? What's going on? Oh, there's a doorway there. Through it. There you go, Gomez. Oh my god, everything's inverted. Oh dear. We're in the anti-cube world. That's not good. Oh. Oh, 
Oh wait, it's filling up, but I didn't collect that many. Oh, I see. Oh, bloody hell. Oh god, he's gonna be angry that I didn't finish it. Oh no, he's gonna crash my computer again. What is going on? Yeah. Control Alt Delete. Delete System 32 folder. Boot up Polytron again. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. This hasn't happened since the very start of the game. Maybe we'll wake up and it was all a dream. We're just living life on a loop. Maybe that's what it is. Oh god. Windows 98 wallpaper here. <laughs> Screensaver. Okay. I'm awake again. It's my old drum kit. My old signs. Who took down my girls poster? My FHM calendar? The hell, I don't want no scenery pictures. Get out of here. There we go, I think. Is that it? Did we, did we just finish the game? So I kept the fez, but nothing else happened. Thought something was going to change. Oh my god, no, the world's melting. Oh, bloody hell. Just keep going up, keep going, keep going. Get up to the old man, he'll know what to do. He's done all this stuff before. Oh god. Maybe this is what he means by his vision went, because he had an eye patch, didn't he, at the start of the game? So maybe we lose our vision. Oh god. Oh god, I can't see. I now look like a little maggot. It's just like hopping along. There we go. Up we go. Do I still have perspectives? Yes, I do. Okay. Where am I going? Oh, God, no. No, no, no. No, Gomez, don't leave. We've been through so much together, Gomez. Oh, no, he's dead. I don't want the last thing for me to see of him is him dead. I'm just going to let him stand here. Until he... Blips. Out. What? Oh my god, hold on a minute. Oh god. Oh god, it's like Tron. I don't know what's happening. I'm so confused. Oh, look at that horizon. Now, is he a friendly cube or is he an evil one? Oh. Is that a massive crystal in the middle of it? Oh no, it's a warp gate. Oh my god. <laughs> if anybody is high right now watching this video, this is going to make you trip hard. So hard. Oh my god. Oh, the classic RGB lasers. Makes up all the colours in the universe. But apparently blue is the best. Oh my god, they look like sound waves almost. I feel like I'm watching like a Ministry of Sound advert. <laughs> I feel like it's a, a Clubland DVD, Clubland CD trailer. Oh, Tetris. Hey Tetris, how's it going? Oh, you know, just being cubes. Oh. Oh my god. This is like when you record a video with cross stitch shirts and patch shirts. They look horrible, they get all wiggly on camera. I have no idea what's going on right now. I'm enjoying it, but <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It's the cube again. Don't take me down another warp inside of you, because that one, the last one tripped me out. Billions of stars. One, two, three, four! <laughs> oh yeah. Congratulations! You've just completed Fez! 
Look at Gomez go! Gomez, go, Gomez, go! Gomez, go, Gomez, go! Ah! <laughs> Amazing! Well, there we go. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Can't believe it was only one episode left until I completed the game of Fez. I should have just done it like a year and a half ago, but in a roundabout way, it's a really nice way of me telling you that Phil Fisher's brilliant title is now out on PC. It's available through its website, polytron.com, and it's also available via Steam as well. If you want a DRM-free version, you can buy it from his website, and you'll also get a Steam key as well. Just a little bit of information for you. So, thank you very much for watching. Go over to Zoe's channel, Zoe Pro as heck, and she's actually starting a full Let's Play of it. Uh, obviously, her mind's coming to an end, and hers has just begun so thank you very much for watching everybody and i shall see you all in a little bit bye oh is it really over or are you just saying this to trick me oh god oh wait what what the hell is start new game plus I'm confused. New game plus. Is this just where I'm allowed to go back in and redo everything but with the Fez? Oh yeah, look, Gemis has got the Fez on again. Ah, and it's still got my current scores from before. Epic. So what's gonna fall from the sky this time then if I've already got the Fez? Oh, I'm dizzy. Oh, I feel sick. Oh, put me down, thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's gonna be like Team Fortress 2. Double Fez! Oh, what? <laughs> no! No! What are you talking about? No! What is this? Hey, my name's Gomez! I got Fez, and I completed the game. Deal with it! Oh my god, yes. Amazing. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. So cool. Oh, what? Oh my god, yes. Press LS to enter first person view. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is pretty cool. I'm digging this. Okay. Is that it? Can I, can I play the rest of the game like this? Let me look up at him. I don't want to stare directly into the sun, then. that's bad for your eyes. Okay, cool. Where am I going to now? Oh! <laughs> I like how he f followed me down. He was like, uh, where are you going? Alright, okay, when this gets all trippy. Oh, God. That's... Oh! There we go. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the person you're trying to call right now isn't available. Please boot up your Polytron and start again. Do I get to keep the glasses on? Aw, oh, man! Why couldn't you let me keep the shades on? They were really cool. Let's have a look at this place, then. Oh, wow! Oh, man, if I knew about this ages ago, I could have used this so I could build my uh, 3D Minecraft thing. Because I created the Fez Village, this village right here, but in Minecraft using the Fez Texture Pack. If you haven't seen it, make sure you click the link that's in the uh, in the annotation at the end slate. But, um, but yeah, it's probably nothing like this. If I'd had this in the past, that would have been the most amazing reference point ever. Oh, this is incredible. So I'm assuming I can do this throughout the entirety of the game now. I can go to any location that I want and have a little look around. That's pretty freaking cool. Really, really like that. Anyway, that's the proper end of it. I'll see you all in a little bit. Bye! Ah, those are some rather spiffy glasses you have on there. Yeah, I see I only have one, because I can only see out of one eye. Good show. <laughs> yes. Yes! <laughs> uh, what are you doing here, Game Chap? I say what, oh chaps. Game Chap and Birdie here. Yes! Yes, and I do say, fellows. Today we are checking out the rather spiffy Fez mod. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm done. I'm done.